This is the Scoop for Thursday. I'm Lisa Marzilli with the WMNF News headlines. Suspended Hillsborough County State Attorney Andrew Warren announced Tuesday that he is running for re-election. WMNF's Chris Young reports the announcement comes amid a long legal battle with Governor Ron DeSantis. Warren was suspended from the position in 2022 by DeSantis. DeSantis claimed that Warren refused to enforce certain laws. It was a politically motivated suspension that violated my constitutional rights to free speech because I had spoken out in a way that displeased the governor. At the time, DeSantis criticized Warren for signing a statement about avoiding enforcement of laws preventing abortions. I'm proudly and openly pro-choice. Warren says the most recent change in his legal case against DeSantis was what led him to finally decide to run in the election. The federal court affirmed that the suspension was illegal and that the courts have the power to reinstate me. Is Warren worried that if he gets elected, DeSantis will just suspend him again? I can't speculate on, you know, what political stunts the governor may pull in the future. But after a court has said clearly that this was illegal, then, you know, intentionally violating somebody's constitutional rights is a crime. Current Hillsborough State Attorney Susie Lopez is also running for the seat. The governor-appointed state attorney says she is not surprised by the announcement. Uh, Mr. Warren did file in October, and so today is, quite frankly, another day at the office. Democratic candidate Elizabeth Martinez Strauss has also filed to run. The general election is November 5th. For WMNF News, I'm Chris Young. Tampa police are investigating after a man shot himself in the parking lot of the Florida Department of Transportation office yesterday. Police Chief Lee Burkhaw said the receptionist at the FDOT office on McKinley Drive received a call just after 3.30 p.m. from a man outside the building making suicidal statements, saying he had a bomb and threatening to drive his vehicle into the building. Police say they found the man sitting in a blue SUV in the parking lot. As officers approached the vehicle, the man held a gun to his head. When officers attempted to talk to the man, he shot himself. Burkhaw said the Tampa police bomb team was dispatched to the scene and upon searching the vehicle found suspicious items, including gas and wire. So we've identified multiple handguns. We've identified multiple high capacity magazines, multiple tanks of gas inside the car. And we're still working with the bomb team to identify more items in the car. It's clear that this subject was here to cause harm. Burkhaus said the man was 60 years old but did not release further details about his identity. He also praised the receptionist for de-escalating the situation. But uh, I'll tell you, the receptionist for the FDOT employee was very excellent in de-escalating the situation and being calm. So until our officers got here, he was able to prevent something from happening. The FDOT and Florida Highway Patrol offices were both evacuated. Alerts were also sent out to the nearby USF community, warning of police activity in the area, both through text and flashing screens on campus. Hillsborough County residents will get to decide whether to renew the community investment tax this November. After discussion at a public hearing yesterday, commissioners decided in a bipartisan compromise that the next version of the half-penny sales tax will last 15 years, with schools getting 5% of the funds. Commissioner Pat Kemp voted no, along with Commission Chair Ken Hagan, calling the 5% for schools grossly inadequate. Commissioners also voted 6 to 1 that 30% of the projects funded by the tax must be pay-as-you-go and that the county can borrow against 70%. The original CIT, approved by voters in 1996, funded projects across the county, including transportation, infrastructure, education, and Raymond James Stadium. It's going to be mostly sunny today with a high of 87. Overnight lows will be in the upper 60s and the same forecast is on tap for Friday. I'm Lisa Marzilli with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.